good afternoon. Welcome to episode 590. Ten, ten more to go. Um, <laughs> this number's getting out of... They start boggling my, boggling my mind after a while. Anyway, episode 590. Permission ungranted. Take care of yourself first. And I'll explain that in a moment. And also tie this to yesterday's broadcast. Before I do that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what this is all about. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful, and uh, I help strong, successful, and high-achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I do these talks every day called "Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart." And for over two years now, I've been doing these talks called "Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart," which is why we're now episode number 590. And the topic today, as mentioned, is permission ungranted take care of yourself first and i want to explain this a little bit because yesterday i talked about permission granted as a sense about when you give yourself permission to have what you want and you start visioning and dreaming and and i talked about setting up a year for success after i finished the broadcast i suddenly had this hit i shouldn't say suddenly but it sort of dropped in like oh yeah there are things that we as people have said yes to that we wish we hadn't so before i go too dark in this which i might end up doing we'll see i'm not sure of the, of the plan yet I want to let you know that I've got some, I want to offer you some, well, illustrate some points first, then offer you some guidance and some power, sorry, some steps to empower you. So that like yesterday, by using by using permission the right way, you're actually, um, I'll put this in the right way, elevating your choices and elevating your year. Because as you may have guessed, I'm a big proponent of having a great new year, <laughs> new year in lots of ways, which is why I have my um, Rocket 2019 workbook, which we'll talk about a bit later on too. So yesterday I was talking about um, permission granted, meaning that, and I was reviving a topic from my very, very first few Facebook lives when I was misusing the permission granted term. But I was talking about it yesterday as a way of giving permission to ourselves to have what we want. So the focus yesterday was really about what do you give yourself permission to for things that maybe you haven't dreamt as available or possible or even... Um, within your frame of reference. So, for example, saying that you have a dream about doing something, but you don't trust it, so you go to give some permission so you can actually have it. And I was using this as a leverage tool for really inviting a spiritual connection, but also a functional way of um, aligning your vision and your intentions in a powerful way so you can say yes to them. Because the challenge with for a lot of these things, we say, okay, I want this, this, and this, but we doubt that we have the permission somehow inside to have it. Well, let, let me rephrase that. We doubt we have the ability to have those things because we haven't given ourselves permission to have them. So yesterday was really about, in summary, give yourself permission to have those things that you didn't dream you were possible to have. As in, you were allowing yourself to have what you really wanted and you were taking away the blocks you put in place yourself. Now, today's broadcast, today's chat, today's conversation, today's Facebook Live, and this is Facebook Live first, will be on YouTube later on, and I'll tell you if you're watching from there, how you find it here at the end. <laughs> that makes sense. So what I meant in permission ungranted is that for some of us, and I'm I'm going to include myself in this one as well because of a certain angle, and I'll explain what I mean in a minute, where we have allowed things to happen to us we didn't get permission for. That we didn't stand up at the point, maybe because we didn't have choice to, maybe we were in our teens, younger age, where we didn't actually stand up for ourselves and say no. And in fact, we let things happen to ourselves. And... I'm going to talk about that in one section, but I want to head also bring you up to date because for some of us, that violation, that line crossed that happened when we were younger is still playing out and it's still impacting our life in more than one way. And I'll, co I'll cover that as well. I hope to anyway. So I want to keep this talk short so I want to get to the point quickly. Um, and it's funny because I was talking about this on a fence, po fence post earlier today. I was remembering that in my teen years, I was bullied at high school big time. And I thought I didn't take charge of anything when I was in high school. I was really um, humiliated and humbled because I didn't know how to stand up to these other boys. It actually was a blessing in disguise looking back in hindsight. 2020 hindsight's great that way. But what happened was I had allowed myself to be in a position where I had somehow, without choosing it, gave them, given permission to them to beat me up. And I'm saying it that way intentionally, even though it doesn't sound right because, like, how do you have control? I didn't, at that time, have access to or tools or skills or in thinking how to get myself out of the situation. I just suffered through it. 
So in some ways I get permission for something to happen to me over a period of four or five years that I didn't at the time understand. So I let myself be bullied in a way because I gave permission for that. And so what I'm talking about being about, about um, permission ungranted, that was the, that was the, point of the title, is about reversing that. Because the thing is for me, what happened in my early employment years, I didn't set up for myself. In fact, that played out for several years afterwards. Now I'm using my example that way because for some people, and I didn't go through it myself, they dealt with maybe abuse when they were younger or harassment or challenging when they were younger, which still plays out in the current world because somehow in part of them has not closed the door on that. And when I'm saying permission ungranted, what I'm meaning literally, just checking it's true. Yes, I am mean that literally, is that when you are wanting to transform an old experience and not carry on anymore, it's a sense of closing a door once and for all on that event so that you no longer have to give permission for it. That permission granted, permission ungranted piece in the negative sense or in the limiting sense is where you basically said, I'm closing the door on the old chapter, we're not gonna have that happen anymore. Because some people, it's almost impossible for them to do so without some sort of conscious action, intervention, and also counsel. That's one, one that's part of my work with my clients. And I've been through it. I've been that in my, in my own journey. I've been through that experience myself, so I know what it feels like. So permission ungranted is basically saying enough. I choose no more. I choose to no longer put myself through that situation. I choose to no, no longer put up with what doesn't serve me. And it, I choose to only focus where I want to go and have what I want and make my life about support, about consciousness, about life, about success, about prosperity, blah, blah, all those things, blah, 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 all those things. So this piece is about self-care, yes, as we to take care of yourself, but it's a reminder also that it's not about just saying give permission to yourself for what you do want. It's about, saying, it's about turning off the permission for things you don't want. And that, a lot of the times, is not so much things that are coming up for you now as much as they're things that are reminding you of your past. So by giving, by, by, by um, taking away permission, so to speak, from those old things, those old patterns, those old impacts that happened to you when you are younger, you get to choose more freely and more powerfully to live your life more successfully now. So I'm just remember, I'm reviewing what I said earlier if I did actually match what I said. I think I did. <laughs> and by the way, anytime you have any questions or comments, you can put them on the screen, I'll respond. Again, Facebook Live first, then YouTube. And if you're watching this in replay, by the way, you can watch this if it's watching on YouTube or on Facebook Live or Facebook on replay, you can still add questions and I'll respond afterwards as well because I'll be notified when you do. Here to serve. So simply put, there are probably places in your own life where your ability, actually more accurately, your default behavior has been to give permission to things that you don't really want, but you don't know how to turn it off. And I'm sure if you're thinking about that, you've got a place that resonates, you go, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Because we have those wirings inside and we know exactly what it's about when it shows up for us. It's almost like we can't not see it. So one of the pieces of this puzzle, one of the pieces of this unfoldment is how do you um, rescind your permission, so to speak? How do you take it back and say, no more, I'm not doing that anymore? In As I mentioned, my, I, have the, um, I have this rock your 2019 playbook workbook sorry to sort my head with what I was talking about for a second there I'm I actually had to I I'd edit it recently and so I put up an unupdated version uh, yesterday because in it I put in some key pieces that it's not just about affirmations you know people say we're going to set the new year and have clear intentions and affirmation is going to go work great part of what I've got in in my work well, actually it's um module six just, I think I mentioned this yesterday or day before, is really about how do you make peace with the past and no longer keeps repeating itself in your future? Because that's one of those traps you fall into is that we think by simply ignoring it, it'll go away and then we'll be able to go in the future and be fine. But the thing is that past and the two you actually detach and you resolve it, will keep repeating it cycle by cycle by cycle into your future without, it, without you having any control over it. So what I talk about in, what, in that module and what I talk about in my work as well, is that by actually making peace with the past in a way that is clear and resolving so you can be free, then you can move forward freely and have what you want. In terms of New Year's resolutions and New Year's intentions and New Year's beginnings, 
the, la the old year and the years before that are still dragging along behind you until you resolve them. So again, like the, like the permission ungranted, it's about being able to say, you know what, this is done. I'm complete with this. And it may be as simple as saying, you know what, I'm done with this. But oftentimes it takes more than that. So I will put a link in the comments for a couple of things, including the, the Rockier 2019 program, um, workbook, playbook, and a discovery session as well, the link for that. Because for some of you who are watching and you follow my work, you know that you want to reach out for support, but you haven't been willing to do so far, so far. So this is my encouragement to you to reach out for support and get the clarity and the direction that will help you go where you want to go. And that's my service to you. I think that's really about it. I want to do a quick one today. This is my weekend broadcast usually are very more um, compact, but I think I've given you what I need to tell you. I hope it's been of value to you and given you some th food, for, food for thought and some directions and clarity. This is a brand new year, so why not choose to do it differently than you've done the last 10 years if they haven't been working for you? Now, if, you're, now, if your last bunch of years have been working great, then let's keep doing the same old thing, why not? <laughs> but if you haven't had what you wanted, maybe it's time to change. And if you want to get some change the right way, I have some ideas, as I mentioned. So again, I'll put the links in the comments. You can check them out afterwards. Um, and if you have questions or thoughts about this particular conversation, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. I do appreciate you being here and watching and I appreciate you sharing this out with anybody you think you should watch this. This is my daily chat and I'll give you the links so you can find the replays for this. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is, fa which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays will exist on my exist sense of fancy on my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. And then I put them onto my YouTube channel and to my podcast. So the links for those are very simple too. In fact, all my social media basically is Barry Selby. So Twitter, LinkedIn, Paris, um, yeah, Periscope still don't do it anymore, but it's there. Um, not Instagram because I got booted and I'm still trying to figure that one out, figure that one out. Cause I don't know what I did wrong. That's another story. Anyway, <laughs> YouTube replays are on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. So you can look for, I think it's Facebook, I think it's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby, I believe. But if you find, if you go in there and look for messages from the masculine, that's the playlist. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would also be uh, appreciated. I, I'm nowhere near the massive number of people who follow me on YouTube yet, but I'm open to receiving more followers. We'll see what happens. Um, also, the audio version gets put onto my podcast channel, which is on iTunes called Messages from the Masculine as well. You can subscribe to that and listen when you have time. So with that, I thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. I'll be back in tomorrow, same time, same channel, uh, new topic, and we'll see what it's about. So again, thanks for being with me. I invite you to take care of yourself and uh, consider what you're willing to um, ungrant permission to. That's your homework. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.